Well, it is finally nice outside, and maybe you're using some of these 70 degree weather days to do a little spring cleaning, but one place that is easy to overlook is your attic. And here to talk with me about a few of the common problems in the attic is Andy Lindis, Lindis of Lindis Construction. So there are a lot of big things that happen because of the winter that you're seeing. Yes. And some other issues that we need to look at too. Yeah, this winter was, was extraordinary. Like I, I was telling you earlier, we've been in more attics this year than we were all of last year. And number one we're seeing is, is moisture issues, which is leading to black mold. We're seeing this on about 30% of the attics that we're getting into right wow. now, which is a scary thing. So anytime you have like where warm air can travel up through the house, if you don't have good attic air sealing, it reaches that cold surface, creates moisture, and that moisture is going to do some type of damage, whether it damages the insulation or it stays in the wood and causes that black spots to come. That's something you're going to want to address because now this time of year, that stuff's coming down into your house. And maybe if you haven't seen it yet, doesn't mean it's not up there, right? Correct. Okay. Correct. <laughs> we have a lot of different tools we use that we go up in the attic. We got moisture meters. We have uh, digital microscopes. There's a lot of things that we use to diagnose what's going on, and you're going to have a a comprehensive report with everything that we have. And uh, along with that, you're seeing some wood rot too. Yes, that, that mold and that moisture can definitely lead to wood rot, but with the ice dams that we had this yes. year, it was pulling things off of houses. It, it, you should take a walk around the exterior of your home. If you notice anything that's loose or flapping or something on the ground, I would definitely want to get an expert to look at it because a loose shingle or a missing shingle by itself isn't bad, but if water starts to get into that right. area, it's going to create rot. And the other thing that we see in attics a lot is pests. Yes. Pests are getting in there, whether those are bat droppings, red squirrels, raccoons, regular squirrels. They cause a lot of damage. Mice, I've seen all these tunnel systems through, aye, through aye, insulation aye. before. I'd rather have wood rot than this, to be honest. I know, <laughs> and this is where in the springtime you start to maybe get that smell in your attic. Yeah. And what was happening is the reverse thing in the wintertime, we call it reverse stack effect. So as your home gets colder than it is outside if you turn your AC on, it actually starts to pull air down through your attic and off the wall. So you see all those bat droppings. Now imagine that's what's filtering the air coming into your home. Mm. And what I'm seeing is we're getting these attics and they have two, three different types of insulation. Yeah. So people have tried all of these bad things before and it's not working. In fact, a lot of times it makes it worse because it, all it does is create a worse thermal barrier so that warm air is meeting an even colder surface and creating condensation faster. So. So the insulation is important. Insulation is important, but not as important as attic air sealing. There's okay. a reason why people have tried. You go up an attic, you see three types of insulation. Like it's you not You tried working. it a couple of different yep. times. Let's pull it all out. Let's seal the entire thing off. Let's stop the air moving in the house, and then blow in the right insulation over the top. And you never have to worry about it again. There you go. All great ideas, and obviously we can call you if we need some help, right? So for <laughs> more information about all the common attic problems, how to get rid of them, go to care11.com and look under our. 4 p.m. show page. Andy Lindis, thanks so much. We Thank appreciate you. it. Well,